What's up guys? Welcome back to Shadavani TV. Today is another amazing day to get after it and we're going to be better today than we were yesterday. And for today's video, this is a very special video because we're going to be teaching you guys how you can be part of the UTRGV soccer team. We're both seniors in our athletic eligibility, so we hope the information we're going to give is going to help you find a spot on this team and maybe help it in the future to, rent, to win the NCAA championship. Alright, let's get this video started. <music> this video maybe you play at a high school maybe you're at a division three division two or another division one university and you're thinking about coming to UTRGV to join the program by all means it's 100% possible and this video is supposed to help you guys be able to come here but a lot of times even if you're an international player or if you live in Africa Europe or Australia maybe you're wondering how can I come here it's very simple to do to be able to contact the coaches to send your highlights or CV but if you don't know it may be the hardest thing ever so this video is meant to help you guys and just follow the same process we're going to show you right now and you can do the same thing with other universities and you can also find their coaches the same way. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and I hope these tips will help you in the long run. And today with me, I'm bringing William Akio. He's also my fellow teammate. Be sure to go to check out his channel also because he's always sharing awesome soccer content. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button for daily content. So the first things first on every soccer team, or university, the first thing you wanna make sure is you're eligible to be part of that team. So the very first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, be sure to apply for the university. UGRGV is actually a free application college. The only exception is if you're an international student, you will have to pay a $50 fine, or well, a $50 fee to be able to apply for UGRGV. But if you're an American, and you already live in the States, you don't necessarily need to pay that fee, it's free. All you have to do is go to www.applytexas.gov. And then once you sign up, you'll be able to see all the Texas universities, and you're gonna select University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, and then continue with the process. And one other thing is international. Me, me myself being international, when I came here two years ago, the price was actually expensive, it was $125 that you had to pay in order to apply. So now that it's 50, it's a lot cheaper. So I'm sure that it'll help a lot of you guys and it'll benefit all you guys if you guys do want to come here. So I don't know if you've ever applied to a university, but a lot of these colleges, you know, they require you to write a paragraph, or I'm not a paragraph. They require you to write like an essay to see if they can accept you. So for me, at the time, I already graduated with my associate degree and I didn't feel like I had time to write any essays. So for every college I applied to in Texas, I wrote one sentence and I literally said, I wanna go to your school and if you guys don't want me, somebody else will. And that's all I did. And every single school that I applied to accepted me. And my situation as international is different. Um, I had to actually do an essay and I had to take uh, three different tests. I had to take an English exam and two math exams. And these are just basically entry exams. Um, you can take the SAT or the ACT test, that's very recommended. But since I was a transfer from a JUCO in Canada, all I had to do was take these three exams. Um, I did fail two of them, so I ended up having to take two classes when I came in here. So just understand that, guys. Make sure you're ready for any tests or any, you know, examinations that you might have to take. Yeah, and if you already have an associate degree, mm -hmm. it does help a lot because you no longer need the ACT yeah. or the SAT test, because I didn't take them exactly. and I got accepted. So once you have finally, you know, submitted your applications to the school, be sure now, you know, you should be ready to start emailing the coaches. But before that, you know, you have to know what you're gonna send to the coaches. Don't just send a coach a five page essay and telling him, you know, I'm cold, you know, I can do the Ronaldo chop, etc. but you know, they don't see anything. So what the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna create a very good highlight video that sells you to the coaches. So it doesn't even have to be UTRGV coaches, even if you plan on sending it to other coaches, why am I as a coach going to take you into my program? So you gotta showcase your skills. I don't care if you're in Africa, if you're somewhere else, I get a lot of DMs, people saying, I wanna come play at a university, but I don't know how, I don't have any highlight video. Yeah. Okay, if you don't have a highlight video, how do you think the coach is gonna be like, come to my team? So make sure you make a highlight video. If you don't have any, 
find a way, make it, and so a coach overseas can recruit you. No one's gonna invest thousands of dollars in something they can't see or believe in. And also, you can watch JD's videos, you can watch my videos, we have tons of CV resume videos and highlight clip videos that you guys can follow step by step in making your own video. And I also wanted to add, as an international, personally guys, it's very important to have these things because how is a coach gonna see you play if you're three, 4,000 miles away, you know what I mean? So, as an international, the CV and the highlight has to be done so much better than a player that lives in America that's just gonna go to a school, you know, a couple hours away. So understand that this is very, very important. You want no spelling mistakes, you want everything to make sense, punctuation, picture, you want it to just be like perfect. So spend your time and make sure that's number one priority. And even if you don't have the ability to make a highlight video, there's always the option to go to the open combines that universities have. Now because of COVID, it might be a little hard for you to be able to pull that off, but if COVID passes over and you know you still don't want to make a highlight video, by all means you can always come to the university itself and you know come to the the over the summer ID camps and show off your skills and get them to sign you. So once you finish creating your highlight, what you want to do is you want to create a CV. A CV is pretty much your soccer resume. So besides your highlight video, your coach, you know, he just saw you play, you know, maybe he might not know what division you're playing in. So you're, that's where your CV comes in and you show him or her where you've played. And you, you can say, I played for the U19 national team, etc. Just put your academies and your awards. You don't want to put some, if you're in high school, you know, keep your latest rewards relevant. But if you've been out of high school for five years now, putting your awards from high school won't really benefit you much as you know your current USL League 2 or your latest club achievements. So be sure you know you you have a CV that's short and sweet. Don't make it more than two pages, make it one page, have your name and you know I made a video on it. So I, I'm gonna link it right here. So just it's very detailed. If you don't haven't made a CV yet, it's gonna be an example of my CV. So just follow that format and I'm pretty sure it's gonna help you be successful. And one little thing that people don't really understand about CVs or they like it passes through their brain is let's say you make a CV a year ago and you want to send the CV. Make sure you look at it and you change the little details. For example, I remember mine, I had addresses that I had to change, uh, phone numbers that I had to change, emails that I had to change because what if they contact you and they're contacting the wrong information? So don't sleep on it. Make sure it's always revised, always edited every single year. So now at this point, you know, you've been accepted to the university, you've made your highlight video, you've made your CV. Now the very final step is actually contacting the coaches. To contact our coaches, at least the UCRGV coaches, is very simple. You gotta go to the UCRGV sports website, go to the soccer part, and at the very bottom of the roster side, you're gonna be able to see all of our coaches. And then if you select each one, you'll be able to find their emails and send them the email you want. So once you find these emails, you know, me, whenever I, I did initially apply for UCRGV, I ended up sending my email both to the head coach and the assistant coach, and I don't know who saw it first, but in my theory is the head coach will always get the most emails. The assistant coach probably doesn't get the same amount. So if the head coach doesn't see it, the assistant coach may see it and forward it to the head coach. The head coach will prioritize his assistant coach's email versus anybody else. So there's a higher chance of your email being seen. And when it comes down to the actual email itself, you know, don't try to be as straightforward as much as possible. If you're sending an email and it, it's five pages long and you're telling your life story, how you used to be chased by lions growing up, how you killed a monkey and now you're able to play soccer again, you know, leave that all to the side. Be straightforward. Hi, my name is Joe Dabney Dondelli. I play for blank, blank, blank. I'm looking forward to continuing my education at UCharger V and I want to join your team. I have attached my highlight and my CV and I hope for, to hear from you soon. Thank you. Just like that. That's pretty much exactly what I sent to the coaches. And the very first time I sent it, I hadn't gotten accepted to the university yet. So about four weeks went by, I didn't get a response. And then finally, I got accepted by UTRGV and I, I added a follow-up message to our head coach. And then he responded to me telling me, okay, since you're already accepted, yes, you can come out and trial for the first two weeks of spring semester. And also guys, when you are emailing coaches, especially our coaches, any coaches, um, they might not reply to you right away. It might take a couple of days, but if you see that coaches aren't responding to you, 
ch high chances are, you know, they've looked at it and maybe you do need a little bit of work. Maybe they don't want you at the moment and they're not gonna reply to you just to say no. Sometimes they're just gonna leave you on ghost. But that doesn't mean you get discouraged and get down and start freaking out, you know? Take it with a grain of salt, take it under the chin and continue to work and just keep continuing to send emails to other coaches. So now hopefully, you know, you've taken all these into account and you apply it. And maybe you're wondering now, okay, so I hear all this about how I can get there. Now, are you good enough to play for the team? Yeah. So pretty much the way our team, as of right now, we've been playing, the coaches pretty much like technical players, but even if you're not too technical and you have something that can benefit the team, the coaches won't overlook it. Yeah. So whatever your strengths are, just make sure you advertise it as much as possible because who knows what they need. I'm not sure what they're looking for right now, but maybe it could be something you do really well. Maybe you may not have the best touch, but maybe you're the fastest and you score a lot of goals. Maybe they need that. So don't be afraid to send emails, even if you don't think you're good enough. You'll be surprised what, why they pick you for. Maybe you're a forward, they'll choose you just so they can put you as a right back. So you don't know, by all means, just go for it and believe in yourself and it is what it is. If they say yes, you know, you come. If they say no, somebody else will help you in the long run. So just don't lose faith and keep going. And uh, personally, with my experience, whenever coach came to come scout me, I didn't even play when he came to watch. I, I didn't play for the two games he came to watch me, but he still offered me a scholarship to come here. Why? Because he's seen my highlights, he's seen my CV, and he's seen I was a quick player, very agile, and it was I was somebody that he could work with. I came here not understanding the system, not understanding the tactical formation, but once I learned it, I excelled very much because of my speed and my agility and my ability to read the game. So if you have what they're looking for, they'll sign you, you know. A lot of my friends, one of my other friends came from CPL and now he's playing with Thierry Henry in the MLS just because he's so good at playing in the midfield and in the center back because he's really good at moving with the ball. So every coach is different, guys. You just never know what they want. They can look at you and see, oh, this guy just did something. I need that on my team, boom and it might shock you. So like you said, have faith, you know, don't be discouraged and keep persistent. You know, we've all been personally, both of us, we've been through a lot of things, a lot of hard times every single day, but you know, we get up and we keep working. Yeah, even though, you know, I killed a lion growing up as a child, you know, yeah. I don't think they care if I told them that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know, by all means, take advantage of all the information we have given you. Mm -hmm. I hope all you guys who are trying to move up to a higher level, if you're trying to play division one, it's 100% possible. Um, just keep going, don't give up. Everybody's story is different. I graduated high school in 2015. I didn't play on the division one team until 2019. I could have quit in 2016, 17 or 18, but I did it. I had my opportunity to come to the university and continue my game. So if it's the same case for you, keep going. And I hope you, you know, achieve everything you're trying to get. So thank you guys for watching this video. By also, go ahead and subscribe to William's channel if you haven't also, and subscribe here too, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Awesome. Jadavani TV is out.